Well, hey, welcome back to Cooking with Avery and Moore. This month, I have teamed up with Tamara, Southern Wife Everyday Life, and we are doing a cookbook collaboration. So the cookbook that I chose was this Taste of Home Cooking School. I got this, um, I think my sister-in-law ordered it for me off of Walmart. It was used, but it was perfectly fine. So, however, I went in and I found a recipe that I want, wanted to cook. So I am choosing to make this so easy. Hold on a second. My dishwasher's interrupting me. So I choose to make this so easy chicken pot pie. And here's the recipe below. If you want to screenshot it. And then here's the rest of the ingredients. Now you see this little design right here. I tried to recreate that. You'll see in the video. It didn't work, but it's okay. So um, I will have this in the description box and I will have Tamara's channel in the description box along with everybody else's who's in on this collaboration. So I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Go check out their channels after you watch mine. Uh, I'm so excited. I know I joined in on the last minute, but hey, gotta start somewhere. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So for our chicken pot pie, we're gonna need some chicken breast. I'm, I'm going to make a small one, so peas and carrots. It said potatoes, but I'm going to use what's left of these hash browns. I called for celery. I don't like celery, so we're going to do cream of celery and cream of chicken soup. But first, we're going to boil our chicken until it's done. I don't know about y'all's chicken, but my chicken, even coming from Butcher Box, I about said Bark Box, <laughs> even coming from Butcher Box, it doesn't have any flavor. So I'm gonna season it with this uh, pollo. I mean, come on y'all, you know that you gotta add your own stuff to make your food taste good. Otherwise, it might be bland. I can't get that close with one hand. So I'm just gonna let this boil. I think I might add some more water. It should be okay, it's still pert near frozen. But I'm gonna let, the, let it boil till it cooks. It's said to turn it in cubes, but I'm gonna shred mine. While I still have my chicken cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my sauces. So I'm, I'm making this so easy chicken pot pie. I'm gonna to try to make it creative like that. Now I'm not too terribly sure it's gonna happen, but it says here, two medium carrots sliced, one medium potato peeled and cubed, one small onion chopped, one celery rib chopped, and one can of condensed uh, cream of chicken soup undiluted one cup of cubed cooked chicken and a half cup of frozen peas thawed and then pastry pie. Well, I know this collaboration is supposed to be with a cookbook, but I'm using the cookbook as an idea and then I'm throwing my own little tweak in there. So it's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make this work. I am a very saucy person, so I really want sauce in my um, chicken pot pie or gravy, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm going to mix the, I'm not gonna dilute this with milk or anything because the potatoes are frozen. Plus there's gonna be some water from the chicken, but I am just going to mix the cream of celery and cream of chicken soup together. I'm not a big fan of rabbit turds, but those is what I call green peas. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna see how it tastes. I mean, I love chicken pot pie, so I can eat them. I'm just not a huge fan of them. Let me turn off this dishwasher. It's, there's 12 ounces of peas and carrots in here. It's like the little steamable bag. Again, they're still semi-frozen, so that's going to be a little bit of water. Then I'm going to take all of this potatoes and put them in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt, because there's gonna be a lot of sodium in that chicken with the, the bouillon stuff that I used. I could sit here all day with this pepper. Now let's just mix this to incorporate it. All 
Our chicken is almost done, not quite. I'm just gonna keep letting it boil. It was frozen, so it's gonna take it a hot minute, but not too terribly much longer. Then I'm just gonna use this thing and shred it up, but I'm gonna get rid of some of this broth, but man, I would love to put something else in that broth. Some sort of vegetable bubble. Sorry, we're fogging up. I think my chicken's done, so I'm just gonna shred it up what I can. It's part near hard. Chicken these days, I declare mercy. They're, the breasts are so massively big. I was going to like break it up without it being in the juice, but I, I want a little bit of juice just to loosen that up, just a smidgen. So as I grind this chicken, hopefully it'll help keep it a little juicier. I mean, I just want it throughout the pot pie. It doesn't have to be perfect. Goodness gracious. All right, so I'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit while I prepare my pan to put everything together. I have never used biscuits for a chicken pot pie, but I'm gonna try it. I heard it's really, really good. I don't know, we're gonna see. Yeah, this is done. Get my little strainer basket here. See, it's not, not too terribly bad. I'm just gonna dump it in here. Stir this. I didn't put any onions in this. You could put onions in yours if you want to. You can put whatever you want in yours. You could do this with beef. You know, they have, or turkey. Being this, like, after Christmas, if y'all had turkey, you can always add turkey to it instead of chicken and have, like, a turkey pot pie. It doesn't have to be chicken. Let me spray this. Oh, there's some chicken there. Okay, I'm just gonna spray in the pan. Hopefully it won't stick. I don't care if it does. <laughs> it's because the burner's still a little warm. It'll be okay. Wow, this made a big thing of it. I wasn't expecting all this. I'm not too terribly sure what I recorded or what I didn't record because somehow or another it turned off. But anyway, as you can see, I took and I split the biscuits in half and then I just laid them, laid them, layered them on here. Maybe I should have done like shingles. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try to make the little design. One of them I need like a really thin piece. Last time we made something with biscuits, we had a mess. All right, so we need leaves. This is a very thick stem, huh? Let's see if I can fold it in half. Yeah. I'm gonna lay this across here like so. And then this will be our little leaf.
will be the base. flour can you guys see it <laughs> now let's bake it in the oven 350 for about an hour so i took it out of the oven these are part near done don't you like my flour look at it <laughs> anyway i'm going to put it back in there and let it brown it's i think it's done but i just want to brown the biscuits and my flour just a little bit more so i'm gonna put it in there for maybe five more minutes well, George, I left it in a little long. Listen, maybe it won't be too terribly bad. We'll just slop it up with some gravy. Oh, well, look at that flour, though. Maybe I should have put some egg wash on it or over it. Well, there you have it. Homemade chicken pot pie. Remember, you can do it with beef, stew meat, cook it in the crock pot. You may have it left over. You can do it with turkey, chicken, whatever you want. Do vegetable. It can be anything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you enjoy this collaboration with everybody. Don't forget to check out everyone else's channel. And I hope this video puts some yummy in your tummy and a smile in your heart. And guess what? I'll see y'all next year. Bye.